a wonderful month of May, the final prelude to the true warmth of summer. Yet I already feel its gentle presence gracing us. It is the first time I have experienced spring so fully and profoundly, witnessing all the nature transitions, an abundance of different flowers replacing each other, temperature swings, and a deep connection between it all. As I have spoken in my previous vlog, this life change of moving out of the city has brought me both radiant and shadow days. And now it feels like as if I have crossed some kind of a pivotal threshold in my life. I don't know if it's just time or it is this place or the primal power of nature or all of it but now I feel like life for me finally becomes less about seeking, achieving and doing and more about being, living, enjoying So May has already unfolded differently. I have not only traveled more and tried to establish new connections. What can I strongly tell you? What is one of the best things for me is that you can go for a walk and be completely sure that it will always be just you and nature with no other people walking around. I have also infused my daily life with abundance of spiritual practices, rituals and ceremonies with cacao. Dear Mother Earth, I thank you so much for everything. I bless you and ask to bless me. What's no longer serving me. And fulfill with balance, grounding and trust. I have been listening to my needs, wrote a lot, worked on grounding in my body, opening for the unpredictable wisdom of nature, and allowing light to seep into the tiniest, most forgotten corners of my soul. Beautiful morning. Our beautiful garden and peace and quiet only with the music of nature. One five months ago. We first stepped into this amazing place. So many things have changed. But the biggest of them is the possibility to reach the beauty of wilderness so easily. Now I brush my teeth, drink tea, take naps, everything in front of this huge nature cinema screen. 
Look how alive our not blueberries already are. How big of the blossoms they have. Wow. And it's just buzzing. Everything is buzzing. It's so alive. Wow. And here we're gonna have mulberries. Oh, but look how much of work I will have to weed them. Oh my god. Weeding. So symbolic. Since I've been weeding a lot inside and outside recently. For so long I felt scared to follow my energies. I needed proof, guarantees. I know that it is quite normal as our instincts encourage us to seek belonging to a system and hence feeling safe. But I always knew there is true freedom available for everyone inside of us as well. It's just too much of beliefs, standards and filters we are carrying around and this way prevent ourselves from experiencing life fully. So here I am, weeding my mind and mulberries with the hope of delicious fruits from both soon. Hello there! <laughs> you know what? I have never worn hats in my life but then I realized that my face skin doesn't really like the sunscreen. So now I'm wearing hats since it's a very great option to avoid sunscreen and be protected from sun. And also, you know, people say that the mosquito season has started so much here in Lithuania. But I noticed that in this area there is so little mosquitoes and we are so grateful and blessed by that. Wow, it's really an amazing oh, fairy tale place. Thank you God for it. <laughs> I think we are already getting used to this new lifestyle. When reaching friends and shopping becomes more challenging. But the complete silence at nights, fresh air, animals, stars, sounds make all these kilometers worth it. So far we enjoy all village works here and I think we manage them quite well. Our little tomatoes. Finally, we waited a whole month until they showed some signs of life. <laughs> and look how giant our orchid is. It's crazy how many new little blossoms she is growing, wow. And everything's only thanks to my grandma's tips. Trusting in the senses and rhythms to which every tree surrenders, allowing them to grow not only branches and leaves, but also the most exquisite blossoms. Wouldn't the same force nurture us and help us to blossom as well? One profound way to connect with this force is through gardening. To sink your fingers into the earth. They're just tasty and big. 
<laughs> you hear bees buzzing around to smell the fresh sprouts of tomatoes and to focus solely on the simple task of planting. This is pure bliss. Each day, I venture further into the surroundings, uncovering the boundless beauty of this enchanting area. Now, we found ourselves nestled near charming, cozy little towns sights brimming with mystical allure. Often I simply just pack a bag and allow myself to be embraced by the wonders of nature and the thrill of adventures. Yay! Going on an adventure! I made my cacao, packed all my stuff and now I'm driving until something catches my attention and I feel like stopping and having a walk and doing my rituals there. Oh, so nice to just go like this without any plan and exploring the flow. All right, we have stopped at the lake. Let's go and find a place to sit. Oh my God, with this bag and drone and everything now I feel what Yona Yinton used to say when she was going for a walk, loaded up with all the gear and equipment. Oh, nice. <sighs> Amazing. The dance between humanity and nature is a divine mystery, a marvel of creation that uplifts the soul. When we open our hearts to the environment, we find that it all fits and lives in us. To connect with nature is first to connect with our inner nature. A human being is where all world directions and earth elements merge together. Where the all experiencing spirit resides. body and soul have so much wisdom. They naturally yearn to ground and embody their existence, to listen, to smell, to taste and see. Just simply be a part of creation. And if we dare to trust it, it will guide us on our journey.
this month I feel I have really reconnected and grew my roots stronger. I understood that without peace in your heart, even the most perfect life can leave you feeling unfulfilled. So I am trying to live a moment and not to think it, to learn from my own body and flow, to experiment, to observe, to have fun, fail, succeed, dance. almost seven in the evening and I spent all day outside and didn't even eat and only now when I see and smell food I feel how hungry I am <laughs> yay and my husband is making lunch hello it's a beautiful day today and I want to tell you a little bit about the village life that we are little by little getting to know here and that I am so fascinated about and exactly what I am talking about is that money is not a first virtue here and a whole point of people communicating and collaborating here is based on exchange and just imagine a lot of people here don't even have transport and possibilities how to spend money, how to go to the shop, not even talking about cinemas or cafes that are not just around here. So money is not really a big thing for them. What they actually value so much here is a connection, is a feeling of being, being valued, of being useful, of being needed, being loved. Recently we visited our neighbors and that's what we have here, what they gave us and they refused to take any money for that. And this is a honey, this is some homemade butter from the milk of uh, the cow that they have by themselves there in the fields. And all kinds of salads and potatoes and oh my god, just a lot of things they have given us. And they just say us that this is some kind of habits of simple village people that if you have something, you share it and then you know that others will also share it. I think this is some kind of the ancient system from all times, but also it's like a new age system because I see so much potential, pot potential in it because it's based on true connection, on true gratitude, on true goodwilling. It's just so real. And I just feel beyond happy to now be a part of it. And also to receive, but also learn to give. To have my heart open even wider than it has ever been. As time goes by, we just fall more and more in love with this lifestyle. And I feel that it's where I naturally belong and this is what I was naturally longing for. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to share with you. And. Uh, I think I will also finish my vlog here. I think I have already filmed a lot of beautiful moments from this month, from May. This is a very strong and spiritual month for me because I feel that a lot of decisions have been made and some, some kind of turns in life have happened very naturally. 
and I feel more grounded, more ready for what's to come. <sighs> ready to harvest the fruits of all our gardening work. I feel I have weeded a lot in myself as well as we have done a lot in our gardens, real gardens, for the first time in our lives. <laughs> we are gardeners now! Yeah. So thank you very much for watching this video. It means so much to me. It's inspiring so much. So have a beautiful day and see you soon. oracle card says to us life is constantly happening if you resist this perpetual change your energy will stagnate causing you to fall out of sync with the life's flow the universe is guided by a mysterious all-knowing force all controlling natural pulse one of the best ways to align and transform your energy, vibrations and frequency is to dance. Dance wildly and freely, synchronizing with the rhythm of life. In doing so, your body will learn to trust its intuition, becoming attuned to the systematic rhythm of the all. So dance with life, my loves. See you soon.